Now today, my sweetheart <laughs> and I are going to check out the Genexa CTR 96. And I want to see what exactly is up with this thing because, yeah, it turns on. Of course, I, my first guess is the belt because it turns on, as in, like, it, you can hear the motor inside. This was my brother's, and uh, he had it ages ago. And I remember when using it back then that this had a really good, clear recording sound. And I used to just record it to record random voices and stuff like this. <laughs> so, um, it's gonna be quite interesting, you know, I want to use it again just to kind of like mess around with it again So I just thought to myself, let's just like restore it, get it working again and have some fun with it Do check out PCBWay. They do high quality custom PCBs, single and double sided As well as both surface mounted and through hull assembly They have a very fast delivery service, so you will get your PCB delivered to you in no time Okay, so first things first, let's get this thing up and down wires down there. It's doing two projects at once, that's why that's messy. It's the uh, set box stuff. It's got them screws that are in the most weirdest place. Weirdest positions. It's like, why you just... It just feels random, like someone's just randomly decided to put screws in it. It's like dotted around in random places. Just let me see adapter port. Find someone here. You know, taking all of them out, hopefully. Let's uh, try and dismantle this thing. Oops, sorry, sweetie. <laughs> scared me too. got somewhere. Yay! So I don't think it's to do with the belt because the belt actually seems intact. I guess let's power it up again. Let's see exactly what is the issue. That's turning. And now that's turning. So it doesn't seem to be a belt issue, basically just opening it made it work. The belt seems to be in a decent condition. What just happened there? Why did it start working as soon as I opened it? These three switches here, put them on the one side. I'm gonna put these switches here, the one side. Oh no, the pause freaking button. <laughs> this is annoying. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> Putting this back. I hate this realigning of switches. <laughs> okay, so firstly, let's test the playback on this. The speaker works well. setting. Do you know something? When I borrowed this off my brother, I used to listen to music like this when I'm on the go. <laughs> just like when I was in a, a place in the house where I was just doing something and there was no way to like take the set recorder there. God. <laughs> this is just as amazing as I remember. Genexa, that's a, a Tandy brand, and I really miss a Tandy. Tandy or Radio Shack. Let's see what's on the other side. That's Aurora by Lizard King, I think. So 
So this is <laughs> Mari testing. Mari testing the, the microphone and the recording here while Neelix tests and is chomping. <laughs> Got some good crunches there. Now from what I remember, this the recording on this was really good. Tell you what, I'll show you on some proper speakers what the voice recording is actually like because you can't deal with that speaker. Mari testing the, the microphone and the recording here while Neelix tests and is chomping. He's recognizing the sounds. So as you can see, it's a good recorder and player. Literally all it needed was just opening up, but I changed the belt anyway on this thing. Because you know, I mean, I'd end up just needing to get a new freaking belt on it at some point anyway, so might as well just do it now. Okay, so let's do some testing of features here. And the first feature I'm going to look at is, I mean, you saw the um, in play mode, this switch was ton, right? Now in record mode, it's vox, as you can see there. What vox is, basically, is um, it, it cuts out the silence, right? Now this, um, you'll notice this turning, this real inside here turning. Now if I go quiet now, it'll detect silence and it'll stop, as you saw. Now you noticed as soon as I started talking, now you'll probably just get like about three, four seconds of silence maximum, but it cuts out a lot of the silence, therefore saving, you know, cassette tape. You'll notice this turning, this reel inside here turning. Now if I go quiet now, it'll detect silence and it'll stop, as you saw. Now you noticed as soon as I started talking, it continued. The sections where it stops and starts, <laughs> it sounds kind of funny and strange. I mean, it just sounds like someone's just grabbed your throat for a second. <laughs> or more like just to let go of your throat and you've started speaking. <laughs> um, I'll demonstrate. The reason why it does that is because it obviously takes a little time for the tape to speed up to the normal, um, or the normal speed. <laughs> I mean, in a fraction of a second, really. Okay, so one of the features on this is the Q marker, and um, that's basically that's um, when I was younger, back in the day, and I was messing around with this. I pressed it, and I, you know, it didn't do anything, and I always wondered. I'm pressing it now, by the way. And um, you know, it didn't do anything. I didn't hear any difference in the um, in the tape itself of let go of it now. Uh, and um, I just thought, you know, what the freak is the point of this? But it's actually for when you're searching. It's a marker for when you're searching. What it does, it records a low frequency um, tone on this. But when you play it back on normal speed, by the way, and um, you know. It didn't do anything, I didn't hear any difference in the... Um, like you can't hear any tone, right? Of, like, of it now. Uh, and, um, but what it's for is... Okay, so you know when you're searching for stuff like this, and you hear a tone, right? Do you hear that tone? That's basically the part where you press this. You can hear it when it's rewind, you know, rewinding, forwarding. Now, uh, and, um, that was so you know when to stop. You know, so it's quite, quite clever like that. Uh, and I didn't know this back then. I only learned this recently. So <laughs> yeah, I can make use of that. But I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> you know, now that I got it working, I changed the belts. I mean, meh. it didn't really do much to it. So I'm not gonna call this a restoration because you know, it's really not much of a restoration, but I kind of got it working. <laughs> Don't know how, but I did. <laughs> so it didn't work before. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of this uh, little device here. Um, I'm actually excited to just mess around with and record random things around the house. <laughs> I've always done this. <laughs> it's from childhood. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios.
Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to those supporters of mine who deserve an extra special thank you. Rich Carpet, Electron Skip, Axel Dominator, Steven Leary, Aaron Metcalf, Starlight Minako, and Chris Sadlinski. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels.